Can women pass the bro code test? Okay, what is the number one rule of being a bro? Bros before hoes. Being a hoe is fun. I'm already a hoe. <laughs> there are 10 questions. I already asked. The girl with the most points will be considered one of the bros. I don't want to be. Would you rather be a bro or a hoe? I know how to be a hoe. Hoe. anything. Would you I'm rather both. be a hoe than a bro? Yes. Yeah. But I'm both. Being You're a hoe is bro. fun. I'm, I'm a bro and a hoe. I'm already a hoe. You, none, of, none of you are hoes. You're all bros. Well, doesn't Jesse call you bro? No. Okay. Test starts now. Okay, what is the number one rule of being a bro? A, bros before hoes. B, having your bros back. C, no dating bros sister. D, bros don't share feelings. A, bros before hoes. Which isn't true. Every guy I know that has ever been in a relationship puts his girlfriend first, which you should. <laughs> then you're, they're not bros. The answer oh, is. A bro. A bro. That is not true. Have your bros is back. It? B. Who the f ever says have your bros back? That's like this is the central bro. pillar of the bro code. Says who? Reddit? Always have your homies back. Yeah, you mentioned who, Harvard. Who so. took the time to like write this on WikiHow? <laughs> bro. So it, that's like the girl code. My it's girl like code is girl code. we're all better than men. Okay, if they just got dumped, give them a beer and a night out on the town with the boys. If they're struggling in any way, it's your responsibility yeah, to watch their back. Yeah, you know what? Half of these guys I'm would so go go the ex-girlfriend. <laughs> They've secretly been pining over her for the last yeah. year. Literally, I've seen that happen before really? where like a beautiful girl like breaks up and then all the men like flock to her like, I'm actually single. Yeah, literally, even the best friend. Yeah, I don't see the difference between bros before I was and have your bros back. Well, you obviously don't know the code. Okay, number two. Your good friend was dumped by his ex five months ago. They had been together for three months. When is it appropriate to date said ex? I told you. Depends on how good friends you are with him. Yeah. I would yeah, say it's kind of never. I would say never if it's your good friend. Well, here we got A right away, B in one month, C in a year, or D never. If it's not D, then like seriously, <laughs> being right. a man must. Stuff. Right. There's like a like in a year, you, then you can date her. The answer is D. According to the bro code, an ex partner is off limits between best friend bros. <laughs> However, if they are a bro acquaintance or a bro removed, then this is acceptable. A bro removed. What's a bro removed? Yeah, that's no my bro friend. Removed. Like a bro of a bro. Like once removed. You and a friend are interested in the same person out at a bar. How do you determine who pursues them? A. First to call dibs. B. First to introduce themselves. C, rock, paper, scissors. Or D, you let the interested party Literally, decide. Like, what? what is this? Like a meat market? <laughs> <laughs> a bar is kind of a meat market. D, D, and C, okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I see bros doing, something dumb like that. The correct answer is D, you let the interested party decide. At least I feel like we've had out. moments like this in the past. At least I have with Nick. <laughs> The honorable bro will concede based on any of the three options, but it is, it is acceptable to let the interested party make the decision for you so there could be no hard feelings. That was boring. What was boring? That what, because you got it wrong? No. You, you thought that was boring because you said rock, paper, scissors. It They're should not have tricked. been something more mindless. Mom, just think about you go into a bar and you both like a girl. Yeah. You're going to go, you're going to go, hey, let's play rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. yeah, but mom's thinking of it like, what would two idiot guys do? Right. <laughs> Why did it have to be idiot guys? The average bro IQ is probably at least 50. Okay, every bro must know A, sports, B, how to pick up girls, C, how to handshake, or D, how they would survive in a zombie apocalypse. I think about D a lot. No, I was gonna put D. So do this I is actually. so boring. I don't know if I wanna put D or if I wanna put like. D? <laughs> you said zombie apocalypse. I don't give a shit. That's what I wanted. I was gonna say. Is being a man D. this boring? <laughs> every bro must know I'm gonna say. sports. I want to say C. I know this because Jesse told me that every time you approach, approach a new guy, you Preach. have to know what handshake they're going to go in for. Is it going to so be lame. like this? Is it going to be like this? I I'm going to start point. greeting men like that. <laughs> I'm going to start greeting men. I got a Dapping point. Dapping men up. I'm going to get points for. Yeah. Ow. That was a way too like, like, no. We're sitting down. You, you like pulled back and then like went in. That was awkward. <laughs> That's not a, it's like this. That's so awkward. You guys are so awkward. Yeah, guys no, are. Mom, stand up. Stand up. Come here, mom. You go like this. You just go. Wait, hey, what's up, dude? Uh. <laughs> like, no, the like shoes. It. Yeah, it's like, why do guys greet each other like that? Just hug each other. Weirdos. You created some sub hug because men are so afraid to touch each other.
No, yeah. they no only in America. No only in America. But they're they not also, afraid to touch each other in Australia. Yeah, they're afraid to touch each other, or, but they also want to touch each other. Or like so anywhere in the that UK. Watching Love Island. Yeah, yeah, they are all. You don't even understand how close. Love Island are is not they a representation care. of the actual population. But they do not care. Like, do you know half of that close. shit is fake? It, it doesn't. I don't think that part's fake. What is the bathroom rule for bros? A. Bros only go alone. B. Don't take the urinal next to another bro. C. You must bring a topic to discuss in the bathroom so it isn't silent. D. Bros don't pee sitting down. Do you guys ever pee sitting down? Jesse does sometimes. Sometimes. If you're pooping. Very rarely. When you poop and then stand up and pee. <laughs> the correct answer is B. Mom. What? Don't take the urinal next to another bro. I want to see like imagine how you walk, it Imagine you walk into- That's so stupid. I saw an, an entire infograph about this. Literally so stupid. It's math. But if there's one person, you go the furthest away from them. If there's two, you still go the furthest I away. I wouldn't be able to pee if people were next to me like that. I, I already that know that boy's pee sitting I've had that this conversation. Somebody, somebody walks next to you and they're like, nice yeah, what if like a guy leans down and he's like, ooh. That's what the rule says. <laughs> oh, it does. You see that? If there are ur uh, urinals available, you must take the one furthest away. Oh yeah, we saw that. Only when all um, alternating urinals are taken, may you use one next to another bro. In that case, eyes forward and no talking. That is so like homophobic. It really is weird. You to can't. Look yeah, what the f That's, again, that's only in Men America. Men need to start looking at each other's is more. That'd be so weird if somebody's like, they, they, they like look over the divider wall, they're like- No, I really think that's only in America. Remember that cat? Nice bro. Oh my God. <laughs> in other countries, you just pee in ice. And like a trough. Looks like a pig eating what, trough. What other countries are you thinking of? Just other countries, I'm not sure which ones. There's people watching who have oh urinals God, full of ice. No, I'm positive. Where do they do that? Iceland? So far, I think Claude's winning. Okay. When is it okay for bros to share their feelings? A, when they're drunk, B, when no girls are nearby, C, if it's a life or death situation, or D, when their dad isn't nearby. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're on Love Island. <laughs> All of these options suck. And then you're getting paid to do it. I think you're both are wrong. No, I think you're both if are wrong. If it's a life or death situation. I think you all are wrong. Wait, why are they all red? That's stupid. It's a trick right. question. Oh. Bros are people too, and can share feelings whenever they feel it's appropriate. However, a good bro will always make sure that they're not inconveniencing other with their personal problems, and will hold in their feelings until a more convenient time arises. You all have daddy <laughs> issues. You get into an argument with another bro. How do you settle things? Kill him. Talk it out over a beer, fight, and winner determines who was right. It's like gladiator times. Never apologize, it shows weakness, or pretend that it never happened. Fuck his <laughs> Normalized Jesus, bros sucking other bros. The correct answer is A, talk it out over a beer. Seriously, every guy that I've ever known that gets into a problem, they have to fight first. No. <laughs> yeah, How often we fight? Are we gonna go into this again? We've established that you have the literal fight. worst taste in men. They, in they the fight entire world. and then they're best friends. Your bro just apologized for crashing your car and wants to pay you back over time. What do you do? Do you punch them in the face or balls? Do you say nothing, <laughs> cut them out? Do you keep them as a bro, you know not to trust them in the future? Do you keep them as a bro, but insult them any chance you get? I'll pay you back over time. <laughs> Sounds like the worst deal. A plus D. A and D. You can't say two. Uh -huh. Erase one. No. Erase, that's cheating. She's wrong. If this was, if, if you were taking this test at Harvard where it should be taken, care. you would, they would kick you out. I don't care. Harvard would never give this test. <laughs> yeah, this seems very much like a Harvard test. This is, this is extremely difficult. For Harvard no. people, it's difficult. <laughs> That's true. Kiss your bros. I thought those ears at first. If I was a bro, I'd punch See, them in the, bro's the face kissing. or balls. Keep them as a bro. The answer is D. Keep them as a bro, but insult them any chance you get. There you go, look. Guys do talk a lot of Yeah, they do. They do, and they don't let things go. If someone crashed my car and wanted me, first of all, they would never be driving my car. I've driven your car. If they want to pay me back over time, I'd be like, okay. Yeah, <laughs> if you can't afford it right now, I don't blame you. You're gonna pay me back eventually. Honestly, I'm too nice. I'd probably be like, don't worry about it. My insurance will handle it. <laughs> your insurance doesn't cover it if somebody else drives your car. Okay, well then that that's their that's fault, just letting them drive. Like a good yeah. friendship. If it's you're like gonna let someone drive friendship. your car, then you have to be prepared what? that that could happen. Being a bro is a fucked up friendship. It is. Yeah, Keep them as a bro, but insult them any chance you get. Like, bros aren't people. This and that's is like not a... solving anything. Bros what is the rule for compliments between bros? They must not be too deep. They must never be shared in public unless it's to gas them up. 
They must not be more frequent, frequent than once a month Another or D, question. all of the above. Right. Another trick question. There are no rules. Bros can compliment bros because bros are people too. <laughs> D. <laughs> D. It's pretty obvious. Compliments to a bro are sacred and will be remembered forever because of how infrequent they are. Do this is so weird. Disrespect this by giving forced compliments too frequently. If you wish to compliment your bro in public, it must be neutral, such as you got a haircut, nice. That's However, if alone or to impress a person. Homophobia. Well, this is kind of accurate, honestly. This is kind of weird. Is this what it's like to be a man? It's very weird. Yes. Yeah, Great. Be a bro. <laughs> you don't have to worry about anything. No emotions, no nothing. These are, these are the boring. men that I would run from. Yeah. Because my boyfriend's not like this. 10. Your bro is dating someone genuinely crazy and bad for him. What do you do? Hell yeah. Sit him down and explain why they're not good together. B, try to catch the partner doing something shady to show him. C, say nothing. It's not your business. Or D, try to get him interested in someone else. I'm between B and D. I'm creating my own options because these all suck. I'm gonna say B. Is this what you would do? I, I do think it's D too, Claudia. I'm Tell gonna... him to marry her. Put a ring <laughs> on it. That's a terrible idea, Kendi. C, say nothing, it's not your business. Oh, we're all wrong. I agree. Honestly, I agree. If someone's seeing someone that's I bad wouldn't. for them and it's obvious, they're gonna have to figure it out on their own. It's not my job to be like. I think the real answer is that a, a bro would probably t uh, the crazy girl behind the other bro's back. No, that's violating bro code by doing that. I don't toxic believe guys that. Yeah, but like if she's crazy in that way, like if she's like sleeping around the front. You remember that? You've movie. obviously learned nothing you from this. Remember the movie Grandma's Boy that we used to watch? Is it with Adam Sandler? No. no. This this just gives me the vibes of like those early two thousands comedy movies yeah. with like the super toxic men who like. What was the total points you guys got? How bro were you? Oh. Five. Three? Five. Claudia, how many do you have? Five? Kennedy, you have like negative five. I don't know, I erased my points. Kennedy had like two. I erased my points. The winner me. of the official Harvard bro code competition slash exam is Claudia Walsh. Well, she has The had true had bro of the family. She, she, she was the bro. In high school, she was the bro. So she could be a bro or ho. I had the most interactions with bros, unfortunately. I was the dork, you were the weird artsy yeah, girl, one. you were the bro. Can we do a hoe one next right time? Here. You wanna do we'll a hoe? Like a... Oh. Let's see who's a hoe. Okay, it? before we go, hit the like button. If you correct? are a bro and got any of these correct, congratulations. Something to be concerned about. Congratulations, you, you get nothing. You're probably a really person if you got all them right. <laughs>